Hi Cancer, welcome to your full moon in Sagittarius, love tarot reading. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome in. Thank you Cancer. Let's see how this full moon in Sagittarius will affect your love situation. So, you know, Sagittarius is the sign of Jupiter, which is about luck, expansion, growth, uh, optimism, you know, being excited for the new, trying new things. We'll see how this is affecting your love situation you know and it does represent temperance in the tarot which is about healing and balance and patience and all that good stuff and divine alchemy with soulmates so we'll see what's going to take place with this reading for you so this is for cancer sun moon rising venus male or female general collective reading take it how it resonates for you including the signs mentioned you definitely can flip it switch it if you need to especially cross watchers all right hmm so we do have Our Lady of Sacred Waters here. You are a water sign. You could also be connecting with a water sign. 27, which is 9. Almost completion, full circle. Endings, new beginnings. And Our Lady of Divine Presence, 14, 5, which is about change. So, so far, you know, with Sacred Waters is about diving deep. It's about emotions, feelings, healing, going with the flow. It's about purging, releasing, cleansing, and Divine Presence Someone here definitely could be making their presence known now, and it could be a divine connection. So change could be coming. Now, if you're saying, I don't want anything, you know, that's probably not your reading. Just really, really have to stress that every time I put these readings out. If it's not resonating, then it's not your reading. All right, Cancer. Welcome in. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Everything you need to know is down below. Your playlists are down there. You still check out your other June readings as well. If you're new here, I do eight readings a month to a week. You can find content, time dates, all that stuff down below in the description box. I may be switching things up a little bit, but you can find everything you need to know as far as explanations on the community tab uh, if you follow the post there. All right. Cancer. Let's see. We have the goddess of discernment. I spend my time wisely. I only say yes when it's a holy hell yes. And the red lady, I am pure strength. I honor my anger by giving voice to it. So I kind of see here that somebody may be a little angry with someone. But it's saying here, even though there may be some healing, you know, waters is about healing with some anger issues or angry over situation. It's saying here that it can be healed, you know, if we step into the divine energy here and it is saying a holy hell yes so we'll see where this is going all right cancer cancer i do have a twin flame channel link is below if you would like to check that out uh right now i was doing the zodiacs once a month and some collective readings masculine a feminine a 5d conversation and spiritual guidance for separation um finding it hard to do the zodiacs is just too time too time consuming so i may be switching just solely to collective readings but if you would like to check that out link is below all right what else do we have for cancer for this full moon in sagittarius efforts 13 4 which is stable ground and energy so somebody wanted to put the effort in here in abundance 88 eight is about you know putting in the work and it's about action so someone you know wants to come and put the effort into a situation here which could bring in a lot of abundance of you know happiness joy love prosperity you know abundance comes in all forms not just material and monetary yellow is a very happy color as well pink can be new love or you know um rebuilding the love here so it feels like a new love all right okay let's see cancer what we need to know here for you all right cancer sun moon oh okay nine of swords in the knight of pentacles so there's a lot of stress and anxiety here and definitely a single energy that is for sure so we have one person stable grounded secure you know confident and the other one single but a little stressed out all right let's see two of wands about choosing a path 
and we have the Empress, Divine Feminine Energy, Libra Taurus, Wheel of Fortune. So that is that Sagittarius, full moon Sagittarius energy, King of Wands. Let me take a couple more from the bottom. So we do have the Knight of Swords, something happening quickly. Seven of Cups, someone's a little confused, anguished over about how this connection could possibly move forward. Maybe over something that was said or done out of the blue, harshly or quickly regarding maybe the past. So someone definitely is stressed out about that. How can it move forward now regarding the situation? So somebody's a little disoriented, disorientated about that. King of Pentacles, King of Wands, King of Pentacles. And the Knight, Page of Swords. And hang on just a minute. So with the Page of Swords here, I kind of feel like um, somebody is watching, waiting, wondering uh, how they could possibly come in now as someone stable and grounded. Maybe they were a little unstable before with that King of Wands energy. But we do have the Empress and we have two Kings. We have two more Kings. That is the Emperor. But I do see here Libra Taurus, Sagittarius, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. Aquarius, uh, Aquarius here, and two cards of Aquarius, actually. Virgo, Leo. Someone's definitely stressed out here about making moves now towards their Empress. Definitely wanting to move this forward, though. You, you know, I'm feeling with that Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Swords, again, something out of the blue might have happened, maybe out of character even, um, maybe regarding something of the past. Someone is definitely thinking, and I'm thinking, you know, someone is thinking of the past actions that they took, and why did I, why did I do that? Why did I say that? Could have been a fight, argument. Someone did something stupid, whatever that was. All right, what else here? Definitely, you know, Page of Swords could be checking out social media. You know, what are they up to? Are they still single? Are they writing bad stuff about me? Did they take down my pictures, our pictures? Definitely watching, waiting, wondering. That could be about honest communication, whether or not to communicate or send a text or a message. Oh, <laughs> deck is in reverse. So we have the Ace of Pentacles, solid new beginning. And look at this, we have the King of Swords underneath it. I'm telling you, oh my gosh, look at this, the Emperor. So definitely we're talking about one person here. The Emperor wants to make a big change here, but they're feeling like it may be over with the Ten of Swords, wow. Big change. That's awakening, epiphany, aha moment. Clarity on whatever happened here. We have the emperor and the empress right there. And look at this. I can't make this up. And now the king of cups. Holy crap. So we have Pisces showing up. Aries, Aries, Gemini, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Wow. Wow. Okay. So let's take from the top now. Eight of Cups. Yeah, someone felt felt the walking away of somebody else, that is for sure. And now they're sitting here going, still reviewing the whole situation, like what I said was stupid, what I did was stupid, or something to that effect. I'm not really getting third party. I mean, whatever the situation may be, could have been a stupid fight or argument or a stupid situation, whatever that was. The world. So someone's definitely feeling like this close, this chapter is closed for good and wondering if they can reopen the door. Could be traveling or distance. Maybe somebody even like physically moved away. So we have Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio here. Definitely new chapter. Somebody wants to start a new chapter. They want to start new here, I feel. Almost like with this pink energy, like I said, new love. Like, can we start all over? Can we start new? Kind of what I'm getting here. All right. What else here for Cancer? Ten of Cups. Total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. And we have the Six of Cups. Someone definitely wants to return here. But there again, there was something uh, toxic that happened in the past. Could have been about an addiction, obsession, or something like that. Capricorn energy, which kind of put this whole situation in limbo. Pisces energy. Somebody definitely feels like they sabotaged the whole connection, but they knew, know who their happiness and joy is. Wish fulfillment. 
Nine of Wands, Perseverance. They know it's going to be a struggle to come back, that they're going to have to really fight. And they're willing to put in the effort. You know, the Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. It's been a struggle, a battle. But they have perseverance to put in one last effort, hoping and wishing. Yeah, a lot of assessing the situation and fair with the moon here as well, Pisces energy. So there we have the full moon of Sagittarius where we had, we saw the wheel. The Ace of Wands coming out a lot. Excited for a whole new beginning, hoping and wishing. You know, Eight of Wands. So they're going to take action anyway for a brand new beginning in love. And I felt that right there. Wow. And, you know, this could lead to marriage, commitment, being exclusive, moving in, stable, grounded energy, the Four of Wands, and success and victory here with the Six of Wands. Wow. Magician making it happen. Gemini Virgo. There's been a lot of holding back, healing. But uh, I kind of see here. Yeah, so there's been a death, a transformation here, a big reveal to themselves on what they did and how they need to transform their energy. And I'll come in and put in the work the right way with the Eight of Pentacles. So I have Scorpio showing up here as well. Wow. Wow, Cancer. All right, so let's seem kind of short, direct to the point. So I do see Gemini Virgo here as well, Pisces up here. I mean, there's a little fear of the unknown with that moon energy there. It's all about intuition, higher knowing. Um, fear of the path ahead, but trusting everything will be fine. That's your energy. Well, that's Pisces, but it could be Cancer too, since in astrology, the moon is Cancer. Ace of Wands, Ace of... You got three Aces here. We don't have the Ace of Swords, so what's lacking so far is communication. But this Page of Swords is holding the Ace, as well as the Knight of Swords we saw there as well. And I think we had the King here too. So, I mean, all four Kings are here, plus the Emperor and the Empress. I'm kind of feeling like they want to know how they can make it up to their Empress. But they have fear. So I see this lobster or whatever making moves towards the Empress, even though there's a lot of fear. All right, let's see here. Cancer, advice and guidance for you for Cancer. Love and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. So hope, someone is hoping that um, their love will be accepted. Focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. Ancestor spirit. Connect to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. So if this was a pattern, um, this could be in the process of being healed. All right. But this person is intent here to come in. Magic manifesting. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming a reality. Stay focused. So they're trying to manifest. New beginning here. Facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. Yeah, they're going to face their fears. They're going to come in. They'll try again anyway. Now, if you're saying, I don't want this person, blah, 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 and there's no hope, then it's not your reading. It's just, it's not your reading. So please don't waste time leaving co negative comments and insulting comments about that, then it's just not your reading because I'll just delete them. I just really have to put that out there. Okay, and I understand if it's not your reading, it's not for everybody. So, okay, so that's what I have for you. So I hope that resonated for some. And uh, again, everything you need to know is down below. Your playlists are down there. You can still check out your June readings if you would like to. And you can check out the Twin Flame channel as well. That link is below. Everything you need to know is down there. So I'm wishing you the best, Cancer. Seemed really, really short, direct to the point, but uh, wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.